That was quite a spread Vicky laid on this morning. She's excited, that's all. I had noticed. You know, the other week you said you really wanted to get to know him. So? Well, maybe now's your chance. Yeah, right. He's your dad too. Sharon. No. There's no hot water. I'll manage. Lucky it was him, not me, eh? Just seeing you here, reading your paper and drinking your tea. Like it's a normal day. I'm off out. Okay. Do you want another drink, Dad? No, I'm fine, thanks. I'll see you later. A meal? Just a takeaway. Vicky thought it might be nice for all of us to do something together. Has she gone out? Yeah. Is it just me or is she running after him like some poodle or something? Well, she's pleased to have him back, aren't you? Sharon. I've got to go. Stay. No, I can't. Fine, run away. Dennis, grow up. You got a minute? Why? I want you to do me a favour. <sighs> and why would I want to do that? Well, go on. I want you to stay away from my family. You got some nerve, haven't you? That's what you liked about me once, wasn't it? Look, try to see things my way. I've got a family, Phil. I've got a sister and, and a brother. And now, best of all, I've got a father, and having them around means more to me than... I don't want anything to spoil it. Fine. As long as the door swings both ways. You leave Dennis to me. He stays away from my family. We ain't got a problem. What, you think he's going to go after Kate or Lou? <laughs> well, them I was thinking of. It was Sam. Can't help himself, can he? I didn't know about Sam. He knew about all the others, though, yeah? Round here, you know, if he's got a pulse and it's female, chances are Dennis has had it. Really? I think of it as a medical condition. Mind you, you've only got to look at his arm there, haven't you? I mean, the acorn didn't fall very far from that tree, did it? Now, if everyone keeps themselves to themselves, we ain't going to have a problem. I'd watch Dennis if I was you, because if he ain't tried it on already, it's only a matter of time before he does. Dennis? Dennis, I spoke to Phil. You've done what? If you leave him alone, he said whoa, he whoa, won't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You cut a deal with him? We talked. And what gives you the right it's to... It's got to stop, It'll Dennis. stop when I say it stops. Not this time. And why is that? Because I won't let it happen. Didn't know I needed your permission. You know, Vicky wants respect. You want revenge. Everybody wants to fight. Where does it end? I thought I lost my father to violence once. I don't want it to happen again. So what do you want? I want normal, you know? A proper family, like I always imagined. I don't want to have to patch people up after a kicking. I don't want to have to look over my shoulder all the time. And I don't want the police knocking on my door in the middle of the night. Is that too much to ask? And you think it would just go away if you asked nicely enough? I don't know. It doesn't work like that. I don't want anything to happen. So long as Den keeps his nose clean, why should it? Well, it's not just him. Well, I can't see anything happening to Vicky. You? I don't want anything to happen to you. You know that. I see. Please, for me. I'm asking. As what? What do you mean? You're asking me as what? A friend? A brother? Don't. Or someone else? See, when I wanted to talk this morning, you didn't want to know. You slammed Dennis. the door. Now here you are, trading on those same feelings. How cold does that make you? It's not like that. Were you like this with Phil? I'm sorry? When you asked Phil, did you flutter your eyelashes, remind him how you used to be together? You think you can do that, do you? 
Use my feelings to get where you want. Oh, like you've never done that. This is different. What? You really care for me? You know I do. This time it's for keeps. I'm the only one. I've told oh, you. Oh, shut up, Dennis. You wouldn't know genuine if it smacked you in the mouth. You haven't had one relationship that hasn't been about getting something. Or someone. Well, I suppose you've been in love with every bloke you've ever slept with. <gasps> Tell me sleeping with Sam wasn't about getting at Phil. Yes. Phil told me. So what if it was? It's you we're talking about. No, you. And it'll never be that good with anyone else. You can't think that way. You know I'm right. No. And you know why it happened? Because we both wanted it to. Leave it. Just like we both want it now. Just leave Phil alone. For the sake of the family! <laughs> Managed to talk your way out of it, did you? Talking isn't always your best policy. Anyway, I haven't got anything to say. Why break the habit, eh, Dad? Fancy drink? Yeah. The Vic's not open. Yeah, but the club could be. I'm not thirsty. It's out my hands now, isn't it? Oh, Dennis, uh, this is Lisa, an old friend of mine. All right. Hi. Will you take care, yeah? Okay, see ya. Something you want to tell me? Eh? About the club. Apparently you've been doing a bit of headhunting. Oh yeah, I've been waiting to tell you. Dad's agreed to run the club. It's great, isn't it? Yeah, great. It doesn't change anything, you know that. It's just about us all being a family. I still need you here. What for? Everything. I rely on you, you know that. So is there anything else I should know about? Nothing. Cross my heart. Because you know, if you needed help with anything, anything at all, you would come to me, wouldn't you? Of course. You're my brother, aren't you? Listen, if you're up for it, I could do the hand tonight. I was thinking of asking a few people over, kick off the family business with a bang, what do you reckon? Yeah, if you like. It wouldn't be the same without you there. <laughs> Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Yeah. What's the story with Lisa? Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot. Uh, we're getting them in to wait on tables. We? Really? Well, Dad thought it would be a good idea. Did he? He's making himself at home, isn't he? Well, he should do. He's running the place. So much for the family business, then. Lisa? Well, she's a friend of the family. She had some trouble with him last week. She hadn't got him. Said she needed help. Someone she could trust. So she asked me to help out. Challenging. <laughs> it's all sorted. It's an A, you know. Yeah. Now I know. Vic, have you seen Dennis anywhere? No, he was back earlier, but I think he's disappeared. I can't believe Dennis. How could he just skive off like that? He knew last night was important. Keep him nipping out. If you see Dennis, tell him not to forget the stag do tonight. Might need him to keep the peace. Is he not back yet? He stayed out all night. Oh, maybe he met a girl. I wouldn't put it past him. I know I'd better get off, yeah? Are you not going to call him? Well, he's a big boy now. He'll be fine. Yeah, but you want him to be there tonight, don't you? Well, look, if he doesn't show, I'll call him later, OK? No answer? No, it's ringing, but he's not picking up. Oh, we're just going to do a sound check, yeah? And? Just didn't want to jumping out your skin. Where's the Rottweiler? The who? Your brother. Gives me the spooks. Is he going to be around at all today? Yeah, he should be. Great. Do you think he'll be all right, Dad? Yeah, of course he will. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you're not going to have to be. I get the impression I'm not wanted in your house. It's always good to see you. 
Okay, it's Candice. Thinks you're a bad influence on me. And what do you think? That I'm married. The kids. And this can be hard work. Do you right? Come on, pick up. Who's she calling? Dennis. Has he still not got in touch? He won't pick up. Oh, well, I see it's you on the readout. Maybe he's left it somewhere. Did you guys have an argument or something? What are you saying? Why, has he said something to you? No. Then I why just... bring it up, Vicky? <laughs> Seems like they want to talk to you. You mean Sharon, right? So I have a word. I've made it done. And what? It's that simple. It's to me. I'm sorry. You're going to take root, you sit there any longer. Lucky I'm pleasing on the eye then. When did you break? You're pushy. Why be shy about something you want? People who come in here and sit for as long as you do normally have a story to tell. What's yours? I don't have one. So whose calls you've been ignoring then? Your girlfriends? My sisters. She's keen for a sister. She's also history. So what say you and me spend your next break doing something we shouldn't? What if he's just up and left? What's that supposed to mean? I just think we should just look for him. You reckon? Well, you know we should. Okay, come on, let's think where he might have gone. You didn't see this in the menu? <laughs> Today's special. <laughs> Can you turn that thing off? Ignore it. I don't keep ringing. Well, let him. Could be someone important. I don't know anyone important. Mm. I'll answer it. It's no one. Now, where were we? Are you sure you want to? Don't ask stupid questions. Maybe we should leave it. What? Come back when you know what you really want. I do. What are you running from, Dennis? Nothing. It's long gone. Why don't either of us believe that? It's not like running. It's just that I don't know where I'm meant to be. about time you found out. You're off somewhere. Doc, hi. Yeah. Yeah, well, I suppose you can take all the dinner, Den's here. I never in all my life thought I'd ever see Den back behind a bar. I expect Sharon still can't believe it. You know, I've seen her with all sorts over the years, some good, some not. There's always been something missing. A little bit of the picture that ain't complete. So she's got what she wants now? Well, she's got more than that. She's got Vicky and you. Who cares? Families aren't really my thing. Nice talking to you, Doc. I've asked him to find something a little bit more local. And all this is going to cost what? I mean, the club's doing OK, but we shouldn't... But yeah, it's doing better than this place, though. Anyway, I've got some money over in Spain. It'll pay for what we want and there'll be some change over. Excuse me. So that's it then, our fairy godmother. I'm not letting me you say that. <laughs> yeah. Lenny called. All oh, right. He must have heard I was back. What? 
Word's getting out, he's bound to get calls. He said he was returning Dad's call. So maybe he forgot. Look, just chill out a bit. You said yourself he knew a lot of people. That's what I'm worried about. Dennis, some of these people weren't good to have around. I don't want all that again. Like who? You don't know who he was mixed up with. Or maybe it's different this time. I don't know, it's just a feeling, you know. But maybe you're right. I'm worrying over nothing. You're being ripped off. I'm not dead. Tom's mum again. Oh, I forgot. I said I'd call her back when I'd had time to think. What about? Uh, it's nearly a year since Tom died and she wants me to go and see her. Maybe I'll stay in with you. We could get a vid and pig out and chocolate and popcorn. Okay, well, this ain't helping. Ladies, that little number arrived yet? Oh, yeah, hang on. So, you coming to the party tonight? Not me. I don't feel too well. What about you, Kel? I'll probably just stay in with Zoe. No, just because I'm ill. No need to deny yourself a bit of fun. Excellent. What's the damage? Best we can do is 50. 50? Worth every penny. She's going to love it. She should do. Wish I had a bloke buying me dresses like that. I'll see you later. Here. Yeah, no more for me or you, maybe. Why not? Come on, it's your birthday. It's not that you've got to work or anything. I'm bored and then you twisted my arm. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Private party? Yeah, be your family is first, OK? Excuse me, everybody. Comfort break. Oops. Knocking back the old man's hooky champagne, I see. OK. Well, you've got to hand it to him. It's only back a couple of weeks already, straight in the groove. That's nice. Yeah, it's from Dad. Don't worry, Dennis. I, I still love yours. It... You don't have to explain. Happy birthday. Oh. Thank you. Dennis, it's... It's lovely. I'm glad you like it. Zoe and Kelly said it was your size, but you can always... No, take... no. It's just right. I thought you could wear it tonight. The party. Okay. I wanted to get you something special. Well, you really shouldn't have bothered, Dennis. Oh, no, no, it's no bother. It's just a present from a sort of brother to a sort of sister. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, sexy dress. I thought that dress would look good on you. I was wrong. You look great. Shouldn't you be on the door like Dad said? I'm tired of him telling me what to do. But he just wants the party to go well, that's all. Oh, Dennis, don't. He's pulled out all the stops for me today. You know, he's fixed his party, bought me the most lovely present. And you think that bracelet was his idea? Maybe you should ask Vicky. I'm going back on the door like I was told. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon he's done? Mess with something? Well, there's only one way to find out. What's going on? Hello, Princess. Ethan. You can't just turn up like this. Only doing their job, sweetheart. I'd listen to your old man if it was you, love. They're certainly enjoying themselves out there. I wonder how they got there. Carry on, talk. Satisfied? Really feel a pull something like this. Thought you were safe, did you? If you want the truth, yeah. I never thought it involved me in all of this. What, because you two were once mates? Means nothing to someone like him. Yeah. Well, now I know tonight. Don't worry, that'll sort it. What was he doing here? Oh, not you and all. Excuse me. I can't believe you'd had to do this. Not after everything he's said to me. He's a law unto himself. Always has been. But he can't do business with Phil. Not after everything he's done. Can't you talk to him? Well, it ain't up to me who the old man does business with. What's going on? <sighs> Nothing. Dad, right? He's getting involved with Phil and I don't think we should ignore it. Why not? He's ignoring us. Why can't we just trust him? Or am I missing something? Oh, I should have known better than to expect you two to understand. Well, what do you want us to do about it? Talk to him. Well, if he ain't going to listen to you, he's hardly likely to listen to me, is he? OK. It? So we see him getting into something we both know is wrong and we just ignore it, eh? Great. What a family.
A bit early for that, isn't it? Is it? What's up? I'll give you three guesses. Then? Got it in one. He said something. It's what he didn't say. Well, maybe we should talk to him again. Oh, what for, Dennis? He'll just fob us off. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but I really thought it'd be different this time. This bloke, you reckon? Never seen him before. But I bet you anything you like, it was money in that envelope Dad gave him. Mm. Nice one getting pretty cosy with Phil and all. I mean, I know he wants to buy the Vic, but for two people who aren't supposed to be getting on with each other. It's sorting out that Mitchell needs, not being made a friend of. Morning! Do you want breakfast? No, oh, no, thanks. I ain't got time. I'll uh, see you later. And Dennis, don't forget to pick up those extra bottles from the cash and carry. I want to know what he's doing. Yeah, so do I. Dennis, where are you? You had a case when you went in. Must have left it. I wonder what's in it. Where'd you get to last night? I went for a drink with Dean. So what about the case? You were going to find out what was in it. I waited up for you. I couldn't get away, sorry. So what did you find? Well, do you want the good news or the bad news? I just want the truth. Well, the good news is it was just pictures and stuff, you know, that Phil had. Dean wanted to see him. So what's the bad news? That poem you had. So why didn't he come to me? I don't know. Well, I've got loads of photos of me from that time. It doesn't make sense. Well, it obviously did to Dem. Dennis! Look, I'm going to go for my run. If you're that bothered, just ask him. <laughs> I found the case. And? There weren't any pictures. Well, maybe he's moved them. There were never any pictures. Yeah, hey, there were some. What was in the case, Dennis? Sitting there in silence won't help. I want to know. And I want to know now. OK. I found... What? Gear. What gear? You know, money and stuff. Den's been mining it for Phil. Phil was the last person I want Dad getting involved with. Look, it's just a bit of business. It's over with. It flaming better be. Of course it is. There's no love lost between those two. So why didn't he just tell me all that? Because he worried you getting a paddy over it, and he was right. Are you sure there isn't more to this? I swear to you. Den hates Phil just like we all do. Right. Rickman. Dennis Rickman. Uh, hold on. Yeah? It's me. Uh, come up. No, no, don't put me on hold. I, I, don't bother, I'll come round. 
Okay. Good, we've got a plan. Look, I've got to go. Um, you wait here at the flat. I'll be back in a bit. Where are you going? To sort out Dennis. Hi. I'm here about Dennis Rickman. I believe he was arrested earlier. And you are? His sister, Sharon. He's not here. Well, what do you mean? Where is he? He was cautioned and released. He left ooh, five minutes ago. Dennis, it's me. I'm at the police station. Where are you? Look, call me as soon as you can. I'm worried about you. Let's just get home, shall we? I had the money and give Lisa the good news. And what about Sharon? What about her? Well, as far as she's concerned, she thinks me and you are Phil's best mates. Well, it's going to be pretty hard being best mates with someone when they're banged up inside for ten years. Well, so that's it? We're not going to tell her? Are you bonkers? Listen, I've caused her enough grief already. She already thinks I've jumped ship and powered up with Mitchell. Tonight I got nicked. She thinks you were drunk. Great. What is it with you anyway? I don't like lying to her at all. She rang earlier. Apparently she went down the cop shop. I wasn't there. She got really worried. Well, you know what she's like. She's a warrior. She's fond of you. She'll be fine. But I'd rather be straight with her. But you can't tell Sharon anything. Otherwise you're going to make her an accessory. And you wouldn't want that, would you? No, no, of course not. So you found him drunk in a gutter somewhere? I've had a word with him. It's going to be fine. Cheers. You stay put. Yeah, 15 minutes. Great, thanks. Still sneaking around. Where are you off to? Club. Where else? What? I'm sorry. Heard that before.